Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the what's on my iPhone tag and I don't know why this is so requested. I hate watching the iPhone tag videos. I feel like they're so boring but I'm going to try and make this as interesting as I can so you guys can see everything that's on my phone and I'll be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos and a few other things like that. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first app right at the top, which is hands down the app that I go on the most, and that is Instagram. So I've got like, how many people am I following? I'm following like 194 people and I have 68 posts. So I always go back and delete old photos because I feel like, why did I ever post that photo? And I get kind of embarrassed about old photos that I post, so I delete them. So yeah, I just keep everyone updated on what I'm doing. I post like... Um, photos of my new video if I like post a new video that day I'd be like yo check this out <laughs> and then I like post selfies and photos of my dog and my boyfriend and my friends and everything like that so it's basically just my personal life on Instagram it's, it's nothing really beauty related I don't really want to make a beauty related Instagram because I feel like I have Instagram because I feel like I have YouTube to post on my beauty related things so yeah that's that so the next app that I have on my phone is Facebook and I hardly ever use Facebook um, I feel like it's just so boring and Facebook has died, so what can you do? I post on there like every few days, maybe like I post my new photos, so you guys can follow me on there if you want, but nothing really interesting on there. Then I have Tumblr up here, and I absolutely love Tumblr, I've had it for like four years, and I'll have a link down to my Tumblr down below, but I'm always on it, I seriously like at least check it every hour, so... Yeah, I have 90,000 followers and I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with every single one of them because I feel like Tumblr is the place where you can like you be yourself out of all the social media sites. You can be yourself the most and people won't really judge you. So that's really good. And yeah, I just love all my followers on there. They're so lovely and supporting. The next app that I have on my phone is YouTube and I don't really go on YouTube too much on my phone only because I go on my computer. Um, because it's much easier. So yeah, I have YouTube and then I've got Safari down there and I don't really use Safari much either because again, I use my computer. And then I have Followers Plus, so this is kind of like behind the scenes of Instagram so you can see who's unfollowing you, see how many likes you got, like average on each photo, your fame value and your followers and blah blah blah, all that stuff. So I really like using that app. And then I have Mail which comes with every iPhone but I don't know, I really like um, having Mail like at the start of my app collection thing because I always get messages and I like to reply straight away so yeah and I have clock and settings on there because everyone has it and I have app store and my optus just to see if I'm going over my plan because sometimes I tend to use too much data but yeah that's about all for my optus app and then I have contacts which is boring and I have eBay don't really use that too much because you get like you have to pay a fee to sell things, which is ridiculous, and when I sell things, they never sell. <laughs> so, I kind of give up on eBay. And I also have music, um, nothing really special in there. My favourite song recently is Iggy, Iggy Azalea, Iggy Azalea, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but she is so hot, I love her music. And then I have maps because I'm so bad with directions, I have no idea around my hometown, like I have no idea where to go. So that comes in handy and I have calendar and I have countdown and if you guys don't know what countdown is, you have to download it. It's called countdown light because I think this is the free one. So you just type in like what day and what time you're going to be going somewhere special and then it has a little countdown for you. So there's 107 days, 10 hours and 59 minutes until I'm going to Vanuatu and I'm so excited and then it has like my schoolies countdown which is 290 days that's so long and then I've got my 18th which is in 338 days <laughs> so long the next app that I have oh is actually a folder it's a folder of photography so this is how I edit my Instagram photos so the first one that I have in there is this VSCO cam visco cam um, so this is basically an app that you can use to edit the filters on your photo. So I think that they have really nice filters and stuff. So if you just click on your photo that you want to um, edit, you can just go along to all of the different filters. And my favorite one is M3. I think it's amazing. I use that all the time. And then um, T1 is also nice. So yeah, I really like this um, editing app. I think it's really good. It has all of my favorite filters on there because I feel like Instagram has really gross filters now. I feel like I've just used them too many times so I'm over them. Next we have Whitegram and I use this all the time. This is how you fit your photos into your Instagram because you know when you go on Instagram and it kind of like cuts off half the photo you're like Ugh! 
I wanted the whole photo in there, so you just click that little red button, choose existing, and then you just like get a photo and then you can see the actual whole thing. So I think that comes in handy. I use this all the time. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see that I've used Wattagram on like every every second photo or something. I just love that little app. The next one is Insta College and Photo College. These are both like nearly the exact same. So you just open it and then you can like put the little collages like a photo next to the other. Okay, so then I have another little folder right here and it just has everything that comes on your iPhone and it also has my emoji key. I just feel like I don't want to leave it out on my home page so I just put it away in a little folder and then I have notes and all of that boring stuff and I also have another photo college down here which should actually be in photography so excuse me while I move that and then I have Shazam and Snapchat Shazam, Shazam is where you just um like you're listening to a music I'm sure everyone knows this you're listening to a song you're like oh I like this song I wonder who sings it and you just Shazam it you click tap to listen and then Shazam finds it and then you can download it okay so yes and snapchat my snapchat is shiny grooming but I don't really use it because I feel like the camera on there just like makes everything look disgusting the camera is just really bad quality and then another one that I have is tapped out which is just the Simpsons app <laughs> this is like the only childish app that I have on my phone but when I get bored I feel like I want to play something so yeah I just have a little Simpsons and then down the bottom I have messages because obviously I use that a lot and then I have camera because I'm always taking photos of something to put on my Instagram because I'm always using Instagram and I have photos so I've got 142 photos because I put most of them on my computer so I don't like having lots of photos on my phone for some reason OCD I don't know okay so now I'm gonna be showing you all of the iPhone cases that I have and as I said before I have an iPhone 5s so if you just type that into eBay it'll come up with all of these cheap cases they're like two dollars one dollar so that's where I always get my iPhone cases because I'm not gonna go pay twenty dollars for an iPhone case when you can get one for two dollars. <laughs> I'm a bit of a pover sometimes I guess. So the first one is just this pink clear case. It's a bit dirty. Ugh. And then I have this purple one. It's just a cheap like plastic one but I feel like it looks pretty. <laughs> and then I have a clear one just so you can see like the gold on the back of my phone because I got gold so you can see it not so you can hide it. And then I have these two pink ones and again these are like the hard cases so they don't really protect your phone at all but I'm working on getting some more cases that actually protect my phone so when I had an iPhone 4s I got so many cases off eBay and off like in this shopping center and stuff so the first one that I got um, from eBay the first three that I got are these ones here and again these were like three dollars so if you guys want new cases eBay is the place so yeah, I have these and these are the rubber ones, so I think they're really protective and very nice. And I also have this little one here, which is so sad that this doesn't actually fit my phone anymore because I think it's so pretty. It has all these rhinestones on there and a little tiger's face. But I was thinking I could just um, do a giveaway on my channel and give away like these nice iPhone cases. Well, not the cheap plastic ones because that's a bit pover. But I'll be giving away like the nice ones that I haven't actually used because I never got around to using this because... It's like really heavy and I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't really protect your phone. But it is super pretty so I will give it away if you guys want me to. So just give this video a thumbs up if you would be interested in that. And another one I'd be giving away is this $80 iPhone case. It looks like this. It is so, 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 so pretty. I love it. So that is all for my iPhone cases. I have a weird obsession with buying them and I have no idea why. I just feel like they're so cute with all the little rhinestones on there. So I really need to stock up on some pretty iPhone cases for my 5S because of the different shape and stuff. So yeah, if you do want me to give away um, some of these iPhone cases, then just like this video and I'll be sure to get that done because I really want to do a giveaway. Um, so yeah, I think that's all. So if you have any requests on some videos that you want to see, just leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get that done. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Lufa, that's what it's called. So you can use either one or you can use like a gel that has little exfoliating beads and all you do is you put your hand in it and you just rub it all over.